Hello everyone, welcome back to Savage for Gaming with me Teddy and for this video we are going to talk about the light plasma or the green plasma. I already made a video about the light plasma or the green plasma last week but since there are still a lot of players who are still confused if what is the green or the light plasma, where can you get it, how much does it cost or where can you get as an FTP if you are not going to buy packs, this video is for you guys. Alright, so without further ado, let's go down to business. So to for that, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. So the green or light plasma is the cheaper version of the plasma core that you can replace or you, it is an alternative use for you when you are researching the plasma development tree rather after the hq30 and you start plasma one plasma institute where you need to research for other stats as well as a t11 troops you can use this light plasma for that guys so this feature is available from state one to 764 at the moment or after the maintenance and this will be available for all the states that reach 38 weeks in age the light plasma or the green plasma along with the plasma core can only be used via the plasma development tree under your institute of plasma and you cannot use this for upgrading or researching your plasma polymerization and there are a lot of players who are asking if the tree or the nodes will be covered for the entire tree of the plasma development or only the T11 research and the three nodes after, I got the confirmation from Saberlot that this will cover all the research under your plasma development. So that will be a good sign for those who haven't finished their T11 or where they are starting their T11 research. If you are researching under plasma development, if you have the light plasma or the green plasma, this will be used first before your plasma cores means that you can use your plasma cores to upgrade your other buildings or upgrade or research your polymer tree. There are only two ways where you can get the light plasma or the green plasma. The first one is to buy the pack which is a 7 day login. So for 10 quid or 10 euro or 10 dollars or whatever your currency is or equivalent to that, it will give you 420 light plasma or green plasma, but you cannot get this automatically, guys. You need to log in every day for you to be able to get the total of 420. Another way for you to get your light plasma or your green plasma is by playing your plasma leakage which is available every two weeks. However, you need to be mindful because there you can only exchange up to 30 times for the plasma leakage. It means that for every two weeks you can only get a total of 60 light plasma and for a month you can only get 120 every month if you are a non-spending player. So there are a lot of players who are asking if the light plasma or the green plasma will be counted as a plasma core if you are going to do your task for different events. The answer is yes, guys. This includes the usage of plasma cores either in state versus state, HQ skin event, throwdown, or the classic event, as well as the survival of the fittest. For every light plasma or green plasma that you use, this is also the same or equivalent to the points that you get if you are using your plasma core. So for example, your plasma core for one, uh, one plasma core equals 2000 points, you automatically your light plasma or green plasma every time you use that, one of that is equivalent to 2000 points as well. At the end of this video, I have added the sources of your free plasma cores as well as light plasma every month if how much you are going to get in average. This doesn't include all the items or the rewards that you can get from other events. This only includes from Intel, your daily tasks, your plasma leakage, as well as the purification building. And the number that you're going to see here is the average and I counted it for 30 days only. 
All right, so that's it for today, and I hope that this video is going to help you familiarize with the light plasma once it is going to be added to your states. And I'm not really sure, like the developer said that this might help the F2P or make or close the gap between F2P and the spenders, but I don't think so. I've been playing this game for over two years and a half, and I think I just got tired complaining that nowadays i just enjoy hanging out with my friends uh play once in a while but i don't really see any chance for the developers to actually listen to their players they made it look like that they listen to your players but every time they technically say that we are listening to you at the same time they are dropping new features like for example we were asking about um, the cost of the t11 is too expensive and instead of dropping the costing they have added the research instead and at the same time we were asking for the training of t11 is very expensive so what they did is they actually added the level 9 but at the same time but look at where we are now they are dropping new features including plasma 9 and 10 i know that some of you are not happy about the new update that they are happening don't worry guys you are not alone i am also not happy and like i said the reason why i'm doing this video it's because of the bear army for you guys and at the same time some of my friends are still playing the game so eventually once i've done my new project with the collab server because i'm planning to update all the information or the charts of collab to be added to the fianbot and probably once i've done that i'll probably going to stop playing the game as well we'll see how that works out but I don't really believe or I don't have any hope from the developers of this game to actually uh, stop or at least uh, slow down in releasing new features. So that's it for today guys and see you in my next videos. Bye!